Why are you scared with gum? You feel like you're in high school? Nah, it's like I talk weird <laughs> with gum. I talk weird as it is, a little mumbly, but... Yeah, you didn't... Well, let's take... Let's fucking... Let's hit the... Wait, turn my headphones down, please. Yeah, it's a little too loud in my headphones. There we go. I feel better about myself. All right, now... How do I feel? Okay, I feel good about myself. G- good for you. Good for you. I'm really proud of you, so let's take a shot while you play the intro. Oh, hell, you got me on here. Um, With a lot of sex. All right. Got back, some water? We're back. taking a shot of tequila. This is disgusting. Augusting. Nope. Augustus. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> I, I pressed the button. He brought us in. Tell me something. I haven't pressed that button in so long. Uh, <laughs> I'm glad I didn't drink at all. Dude, we haven't we never did that like growing up. Ew. We never did the kill. I was never into that. Even though you're Puerto Rican, it's like you would think that. Yeah, you would think you'd be into it. Not my thing. I like Corona though. That is kind of yeah, not the virus. Like, Oh, I thought you were... I was talking about the virus. I like that, too, but for different reasons. I was really excited that a lot of people died. I think most of them probably had it coming. Yeah, no? I just like the checks. <laughs> Welcome, lovers and friends. It's me, your boy, Mitch, everybody. And today I'm joined by the first co-host of this show, now producer and voice that you never see, and my best friend for the past 27 years or more, a man who's gotten fatter in front of you every day of your life that now you haven't you been see able to me. see. I look now good. you finally gonna see this fat fuck. He's been lying. Beautiful. Do you want to? Do you have anything to say about how fat you've gotten? I'd like to be less fat, but <laughs> I'm not <laughs> upset about where I'm at. You know, I'm a cool. I like to be less fat. I'm a, I'm a cool two hundred. <laughs> when you look in the mirror, like, are you like disgusted? Or are you cool with <laughs> Will you stop? <laughs> I'm just curious. Are you disgusted by me? I, I mean, if you're... the when the people around me are disgusted, that's when I'll change. <laughs> Unless they're like really just like see I will I, I think I'm fat right so I like when people tell me that I'm fat so I I, I don't like when people don't understand how fat they are because if you don't understand it's like saying say you have cancer and people are like oh you don't have cancer you're doing great but your hair is falling out like dude you have cancer like Robbie you're fat and oh and people God. are people are starting to talk <laughs> all right all right so do you remember the first time that we met um. Your sister introduced us in elementary school. How was it? Because in the hallway. Was it? Yeah, it was it's like in passing. So and she's like, "This is my brother," and I'm like, "Hey, what's up?" And that was pre- it. Was just like, "Hey, what's up?" And that was it. And then one day that we like just met up and it's been hitting it off ever since. <laughs> yeah. So we've your sister that was in my grade. You're a grade ahead of me. Yeah. And she introduced me to you, and that's. And what was. did you think? Like, did you think I'm cute? I'm handsome. I was thinking, man, if I hang out with him, I'll look really good yeah. because he's so, so ugly. ugly. Yeah. So I'm like. This is good for me. And if you guys ever wonder why I'm so mean to Robbie all the time now on screen, do you ever wonder why I'm always like giving you shit? I mean, that's what yeah, guys you're do just, normally. You're jealous. It's cool. Not, not at all. <laughs> In no way, shape, or form. Because growing up, your brothers and your dad uh-huh. used to talk shit to me <laughs> so hard. Like I can never. We're an all boys family. All boys. All uncles. Like no girls in my family. So it's really. But I mean, it really taught me like how to talk shit. Like. And I never really talk shit back because, again, I'm a kid and there's, like, one. his brother was a professional boxer. We toughened you up. Yeah. We toughened you up. His dad's just a full-time asshole. Uh, professional shit talker. Yeah. yeah. And Italian, then, you know what And I mean? then his other brother's just, uh, Sean, what is he, like, five years older than us? Uh, me and all my brothers are four years apart. Okay, so. My, my two oldest brothers. Yeah, so, I mean, again, Joey, boxer. Yeah. So I'm boxer, gonna, tough. Yeah, I'm not going to talk shit boy. back to him. And we all had my 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 stepdad to freaking show he us was, how to talk shit. Yeah, so the best, the worst shit talker to me growing up because <laughs> I had braces two times. I had a bowl haircut. I was like gangly growing up. I was ugly, I definitely was an ugly fucking duckling. I'm not saying I'm amazing looking uh-huh. now, but I've definitely doubled or tripled in what my number was since yeah. then. You know what I mean? Like <clears throat> it was terrible. I grew a beard. <laughs> Nobody cared who I was until I put the beard on, kind of thing. Yeah, and that took a while. Yeah, it took a while for me to you know blossom into this six or seven, whatever I am I'm now. Still working on the beard, but we'll get there. Yeah, so now I'm, I feel so good. The reason I'm talking shit is because now I feel so much better because I, I'm able to talk shit. So you're thankful for that. Um, I mean, it definitely toughened me up. Like I had my we, mo- we had you washing your feet in the tub. Yeah, like, on well, the sleepover. So if you don't know, <laughs> my feet are terrible smelling. Like now I have it uh, under control, unless I'm in an uncontrolled environment. Like if I'm. In a normal day to day thing, now I put deodorant on my feet. I use antibacterial soap. <laughs> and we we fucked him up with that. But that looking back, I'm like, man, that is kind of um, fucked up. It's kind of that could hurt you a little bit. That might make you feel like, man, my feet are weird. I gotta watch. <laughs> I gotta keep an eye on these things and keep them clean. Well, I could have definitely one of well, one of two ways, like really internalize that. I'm sure I did in some way, shape, or form. Yeah, but, but you didn't let it like it didn't control my life. Yeah. Like, like if I was a soft, you probably would have just not 
hung out with me anymore. Like that kid's family's a nut. <laughs> yeah, but my family was so your soft. family was crazy in its way too. Though. Yeah, but my mom was very soft. Like she was, and I didn't have a. My dad was never like your dad. Like talking yeah. shit. My brother was always crazy. But my Jim, sister. yeah, Jim's tough. He brought that kind of. But nothing toughness. like nothing like your family. Like your family is shit talkers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and that's why you're so. And easy I don't young. even think it's so. But it maybe, maybe that's why. Yeah, I don't even think it's so bad. I'm just like. And that's how it is. My dad runs a construction crew, and that's how it is around job sites. And like, men talk like that. You just talk like men. Like, fuck your feelings. Like, <laughs> that's how you know somebody likes you, though, if you talk shit. I mean, there's mean yeah. ways to say. I mean, I've been fucking. There was times where I was bullied for all. All men are bullied at some point in their life. If you're not bullied, then you're not doing whatever. You're. I don't know what you're doing in your life. You're fucking doing. Something. You think all people are bullied? You were never. You were bullied at some point. I'm sure. By you? Yeah, I, I definitely bullied you. <laughs> I had to. Nah, I we bullied kids. Dude, when we, we were young, let's go. All right, let's go. Us in elementary school. What were we like in elementary school? We were kind of, kind of bullies. Yeah, we kind of were assholes. We didn't go to the extreme, but there were some kids in the neighborhood we messed with. Yeah, because we were just running around wreaking havoc. But that's what you do as a kid. I was kind of like a, I, I don't want to say big, but like a bigger like kid in elementary school. But I, yeah. I mean, I'm obviously not that big now. Like I may yeah. be more stout, but like height wise, I was a little bit taller. Wonder than most if people. you actually were, if you just think of yourself that way. Oh. Well, you tell me. I always remember you being really small. I was smaller than you were. You were always really small, though. I'm 5'9". We always called you Little Robbie growing up. That's what we call my son now. <laughs> you were, but you were Little Robbie all throughout elementary. I think even until high school. I don't then, think they called me Little Robbie. My family did. Oh, uh, maybe you're, yeah. <laughs> Why, though? There's no bigger Robbie. <laughs> but you were so small. Just because you I were so small in stature. Little. <laughs> that's, a, that, that's not true. Trauma. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't remember Malfunctioning. this. Functioning. See, I remember it all. You just push maybe, it back. Maybe, yeah. The PTSD goes to the back of your mind. And that kind mind of shit don't forefront. bother me. So if someone called me something like little, I don't think that would bother me as a kid anyway. Yeah. I'm just a little kid. So what about middle school us? I don't think we, I think everyone in middle school is kind of awkward. Yeah, it's an awkward time. It's really hot in here. Can I turn the air on real quick? <laughs> you want to turn the air I'm kind of sweating. Are here. you sweaty because I'm asking you questions? I'm probably sweaty from the shot. No, I'm not nervous or nothing, but I'm going to turn the air on real okay. quick. Okay. And then we'll, Are you know. hot a little bit? I mean, it's we were just talking about how I tripled in my number, so I... Let's see how much... Is, Robbie took like half his shot. What a fucking bitch. I told you I only took half. No, you said I didn't take it all. That doesn't mean... If it. somebody says they didn't take the whole dick, oh. that doesn't mean they So you poured me more? <laughs> what? <laughs> Bro, I don't be drinking. I'm a smoker. You were never a smoker. All right, so let's go to high school. Marijuana school. smoker. So smoke high school, us. what the fuck were we like in high school? So you never really... I so growing, growing up in high school, so <clears throat> I was a guy that could get the beer. So I would normally... I would account for everybody's beers, like how many beers we would drink throughout yeah, the night. Yeah, yeah. Because we're buying man. cases, right? We're, I'm like, we're getting a 30-pack. How many people is this going to get yeah, drunk? Yeah, yeah, or we would get kegs. So Robbie would be about five or six. Yeah. That and was the most. That's still the most for yeah. me. That was yeah. at the most, and I would probably still take one or two from him because he would be smoking. Exactly. I'd probably leave a couple with two sips out. And then yeah. go there. You know what I mean? And then I would always count for myself 10 to 12 because yeah. I've always been a big drinker. Yeah, but, and I, I didn't start smoking until heavy until after high school. did a little bit in high school, but yeah. I didn't smoke heavy until after high school. And then there was our another guy that we grew up with named Joe. Now Joe, what he would Joe. do is he liked to lie about how much he would drink, and the way he would. I think I but we're still this. counting up. So <clears throat> we're still counting beers then, and like, how many did you have? How many did you have? Because you know we're trying to figure out how many beers are left. Yeah. Without counting, um, without going through all the cases. Yeah. So Joe's like, oh, I already had ten, and he's uh -huh. fine. Joe at the time was six two six three, and we're probably five nine five ten at the time in high school. Yeah, yeah. So we're like, how the fuck is he drinking all these beers this fast? I'm, I remember I'm, this. No, I'm a very, I can't believe I remember this, but yeah. I'm a very fast drinker. I'm not as much anymore. I don't drink it. This tequila is the most I'm going to drink all week. So he would, what he would do is he would go dig a hole and hide the beers <laughs> and hide the beers under and then cover them up. That's way too much work. And I don't, was it you that caught him doing it or was it me? I can't remember who caught him doing it one time. One we're, of us probably did, but I remember this story now you're saying it. It's kind of coming back to me. We would drink at the so dump. That's so weird. That's so weird that we were drinking. I used to, I drive by places that we used to drink at. We used to drink at the, the trash. Oh, what? That place in the back where they had them little... Yeah. Um, that was where we called him. By the tracks. Yeah, by the tracks. Close we, to his house. Yeah. So yeah. we used to drink wherever there's a corner where there's like Woods, three, three trees, to four trees. That's enough for parks. us. <laughs> we, would, we would get drunk. Any little dip spot you could just hang out. What's your favorite like story from high school or for, favorite memory of like with involving me, obviously, because this is about me. It's not about you. I know that. Yes. Um, 
<laughs> it's my show, motherfucker. I'm a big fan of the pee drink. Uh, the pee drink? I'm always we've been a big already, fan of that. We've already talked yeah, about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. I've always, we, been, always been a big fan of that. We can um, cover that I again, like bro. our story when we lit the woods on fire. And I run back to your house and your mom get, helps me and changes my clothes because I don't want my parents to know that I'm lighting fire. Was this the time when the kid brought us back to the house? or So there was multiple times where we lived next to an elementary school where there was woods. Yeah. We used to throw CO2 uh, tanks in the fire and in it would the blow fire. up. Are you talking about that time? Or are you talking about the time we lit it on fire and some kid brought us back to my house and said, I'm telling your mom, I'm calling the cops on you. Is that uh, the time you're talking about? I'm, no, nah, I'm talking about, I don't know, they kind of fade together. But I just remember we're going pi- we there. We were pyros. Yeah, we were so pyros, bro. We should um, be serial killers by now. Yeah, <laughs> we were major But pyros. we just murder the pussy now. Uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> but I just remember running to your house, and I was all bugging out too because I was about to get picked up by my dad or something, and I smelled like fire. So your mom, like, let me get a shower. She gave me fresh clothes. And I was like, she so was, wait, my, your mom washed my feet. My, personally? Your, your mom washed my feet growing up. I don't know. Guys. So... <laughs> and my dick too, but my mom what? gave you a full body shower. Yes, scrub. Like, and you had one of them jacuzzi baths. I remember that. Oh my god, I used to put my dick in that all the time. That's why I used to get baths at your house. I remember because <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to put my dick in it too. I remember one time it was like a while since I did it, so it was, it was a jacuzzi tub. There was jets all around the tub. Yeah, and I used to put my dick. I love in this house. I love that house. Yeah, and it it caught on fire. It's no longer there. But it's there. It's there. It's a new house. Yeah, they just so, rebuilt the whole top half. No, they rebuilt the whole house. It looks like the same shape, just the roof's different. I think they just did the top half. I'm, t- I'm telling you, I used to visit it. Oh, okay. I used to drink. Oh, my memories! I remember but when it first happened. I drove by a little bit. But, um, so, it's been a while since I started the jacuzzi tub, and it was like probably like two or three months. I was like, you know what? It's time for me to, I don't know. I'm in high school. I'm like, my dick has it. It's time to jacuzzi. Yeah. And I, <laughs> the, the water's filled up. I'm like, let's do this. So I press the button and all this black shit comes out. Oh, all yeah. over my dick. I go, oh, oh no. Oh, like rusty water? Yeah. And then something <laughs> they don't tell you about when you jerk oh, off. Oh, no. In, something you don't realize when you jerk off in the jacuzzi. Where does the load go? You're bathing in it. When you get up and you you're a hairy guy like me, you you're that. covered in your jizz. I have a jizz it's on my ball sack, on all legs. my butt, all my legs. You didn't like put two and two together. You just thought it disappeared in the I was just like, I just want to come. <laughs> <laughs> Don't stop me from coming. Let me come when I want to come. Oh my god, <laughs> dude! All right, so how old are we now? What are we? I'm 33. You're 32. Yes, I'll be 33 soon, in November. What What did you ask for for your birthday? At this age? Yeah. I don't expect nothing on my birthday. But what did your girl ask you? What do you want for your birthday, right? Yeah. What did you say? I don't feel like I ever have an answer. It's funny because this past year, so I just turned 33. We're I'm we're just very, like ah, eh, whatever, like. I don't know. I don't like put pressure on. Like, I don't need nothing. And my girl always says, whatever you need, you always buy yourself. You're so hard to buy for. Yeah, every girl says that. And because we do, because we're men, we take care of shit. But we don't want for anything. We don't just expect people to give us stuff. Yeah. So I, It's like a pride thing as yeah. a man. <clears throat> so this past year, so my girl was like, what do you want? I always tell her nothing. And she's like, your dad's asking me, what should I get you? This year, I asked for socks because I literally needed them. Really? <laughs> so, That's like I, the go-to gift that you get I didn't even, yeah, I didn't even realize that I ate, like how old that is to ask for. I was just like, oh, I'm running out of socks. All my socks have holes. You were dead serious. Oh, I was 100%. I got socks and I was excited. Yeah. They were the wrong size socks, but it's not a big deal. Let's take, I'd be pissed. Let's take a little bit more of a shot. Come on. We All don't. Right. Me and Robbie never drink together anymore. We don't. We don't. Finish it. This really? Is the, this is the same thing in high school. Oh, my God. My memory from high school. Finish let's, it wide. Let me just have a sip of water. I'm a bitch, dude. Finish. All right, so. There's another story from high school. Me and Robbie. I was always the rapper in high school, too. So I was always making music. So that, that part that, of, I feel like you're trying to act like that was cool. No, I'm just saying that's what I did. <laughs> but that was never a part of me and your relationship. Yeah, we could have very... We had a couple little things. But that wasn't really a world that I pulled you into or what I did because it wasn't what you were interested in. Yeah, our thing was like partying. In high, so middle school, elementary school, we were just best friends hanging out, wrestling, and yeah. not gay. But... <laughs> But high school, like, you started rapping. Even in middle school, you did that, but it wasn't really... You moved around a lot, so I didn't yeah. really see that side of you. So, high school, we would drink together, and we would take jackass together. Mm-hmm. But you also had, like, another... I don't know who you... Who did you rap with? Like, well, who's your other friend group? I had artists I worked with, like, people I recorded. And I had... I got some people in our friend's group later to rap, like, Salo Start Rapping. Yeah. And 
a lot of them guys start rapping just for fun because I did it. Yeah. Then eventually I linked up with like Jay and some people I link up with now. But that was like later. In, that was after high school when I linked up with Jay and them. But yeah, I, it was just a few people. Not like a ton, ton yeah, so of people. Yeah, so there was never, like Jay was never somebody I even, I think I knew him in high school, but it's weird because like in high school, I did work release, so I wasn't even really in high school. Yeah, and I did that also. I got done early too. So we, we were like, we just had like weird friend groups, but we were always kind of like. Together, but yeah, certain parts of my life, I guess I just did separately because you weren't interested in music and. Even when I was, so I joined the military and I still talked to Robbie so, like probably yeah. once a month when I was in the military. You actually told me my brother, my whole house got raided for like the third or fourth time, whatever yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I was in Afghanistan and I called Robbie. I'm like, hey, I haven't heard from anyone in my family for like the past two days. Any idea what's going on? <laughs> he goes, oh, you didn't hear? I go, I go, did they all die or what the fuck happened? <laughs> no one told me. <laughs> yeah. my, my brother was, my brother is. I remember well. talking to you a few different times about your brother when you were away. So he dealt drugs a lot. So he, he's and been he arrested. And he had some problems in prison or something that happened. I don't even remember. See, see, there's so many things that has happened, and we're only 33 yeah. and 32, respectively, that I can't even remember all the things that happened. Yeah, a lot of things just fade out. I, I was trying to tell the story of when, because you were bitching about the shot when we did shots together. Do you remember this? What? And you, like, threw a chair at my face. I can't remember. Oh, when we got super drunk. So we had. We, we drank, got a, like, a whole bottle. We had a bottle of vodka, I believe it was. And what we did was, I think we were playing, like, a card game. Oh. I think it was, like, high or lower. I would say, I would deal card. I would say, high or lower. And then he would say whatever, higher or lower. And then okay. I would fill the shot glass. But the way I was filling the shot glass, it was like a regular cup. And I would fill mine like half cup and his like a quarter cup because, again, he's a less of a drinker. But I guess my brother and his friend Bob went upstairs. Oh they came God. down like 30 minutes later. We were fucked up. And you were throwing a chair at we my head. We were beating each other's ass. <laughs> <laughs> and I was so dr I was doubly as drunk as you at least because I was taking yeah, double yeah, it. Yeah. And we, we finished a bottle of vodka in less than an hour. I think it was like green apple Smirnoff. That sounds yes, right. yes. I was trying I, to think earlier, and I thought green, but I, yes, I can't drink green apple was. anything anymore. That's uh, what it was. I remember too. A green apple's something we I were. won't drink. Jim had to call my parents to come pick me up because <laughs> he was like that worried. <laughs> because we were so <laughs> drunk oh in twenty my minutes, God. dude. We were fucking crazy. High school was a lot of fun. I don't think I would ever go. High back school then. is the funnest time. I think like it's just carefree living. I think going back, like high school itself, being in high school fucking sucked. Like, being a freshman, I had... Like, but looking back, it isn't that bad. No, not at all. Like, <clears throat> thinking back now, like, I had a bully in, like, ninth grade. I definitely had a bully who I fucking hated. He was, like, the star... You had a bully in high school? Yeah. I didn't tell anybody because I'm cool. Why are people bullying you? You're, you know, you <laughs> fight. You weren't no bitch. But he was... He, so this guy was the star wide receiver on the football team. Okay. And everyone loved him, but he was the biggest asshole in the world to me. I don't know what was going on, but we were like teamed Say up. Say his name. I bleep it out. I don't remember his list. There's only one. There's only two in the world, but this motherfucker. I remember sucks. his name. He yeah. was like, he was so cool at first, but we were like, tight. we were partners in like some construction class. And he would, he never did anything. He fell asleep and I didn't know what I was doing. I need, when you're in high school, you need somebody to hold the wood while you're screwing it. You can't just do it yourself. Yeah. Yeah. And he would just sleep. So we would, like, get, like, <laughs> Cs and Ds the whole time. Like, yeah, I'm like, dude, yeah. I need your help. And then he would just throw fucking nails at me. In the middle of class, he would just throw nails at me. No, you didn't tell me you were getting bullied? No, I didn't want to tell anybody. It was fucking terrible. And I was like, I was like, what can I do? I'll just make fun of Robbie more later. <laughs> oh, my God. So did you think, growing up, obviously, when you're in high school, you're like, I wonder what we're going to be when we're adults. That... You would be the first one to get married and have kids out of the two of us. Um, I never really thought about that, I guess. I was always, I always had girlfriends a little more throughout high school. So again, I was more into drinking. I never had sex in high school. He was more into smoking, eating Chinese food, and having sex, which I mean, probably <laughs> Pretty the better. Pretty fun. <laughs> Tell me that doesn't sound fun. Probably the better of the two options. Yeah. But I, I was always like the bro, and he was always like the... Babe, I guess you would call it. Because you're ladies, always, man. I'm going to call you the babe. I'm the babe? Yeah, you're the babe and I'm the bro. All right, sure. <laughs> the, that's actually a pretty good name. The babe and the bro. New pod? New pod? No. Oh! Go ahead. Come on, I'll edit it. You record it. Let's fucking <laughs> babe and the bro. <laughs> the babe and the bro. I'm not being the babe, bro. What? Why not? That's a fucking great name. You get the babe, I get the bro. That's a girl, though. No, but you're the babe. Like Everyone's like, oh my God, he's so cute, though. But you don't call a man the babe. He's, like the babe Ruth. The babe. You can be the ba the baby Ruth. Maybe it 
is cool. We'll see. All right, well, we're going to talk about this, but so, all right, anyway, what the fuck were we talking about? I don't remember, but so let's go to. So I was, oh, yeah, yeah, I was always like. Yeah, like so did you whatever. expect to be. I had the spiky hair and stuff. Oh my God, he looks so. F- There's so many words I can't say now. Right? You gotta be careful. <laughs> yeah. There's so many words like. I was just. Because me and Robbie, again, grew up together. So we have the same vocabulary from 1995 together yeah. a lot of times. That we obviously. I know it's unacceptable. I followed a little bit more trends than he did. He wasn't a trend guy. <laughs> so. But there's a lot of. He did have Pokemon, though. So. Oh, I got the best. He had po- the best collection, though. Nobody's had a better Pokemon set than me. I never had. Char- I had Charizard once, but somebody stole them. I'm still upset that you got rid of these. I have, have them at home. What? I have my Pokemon. Oh, guys. you do? Yeah, they're they're under my TV. You never looked into them. I. Uh, Thanks for telling me where they are. Um, go ahead. <laughs> so, I don't have a Charizard. Nobody steal from me. But so I never thought. I always thought of myself as the most mature one of the group, even though I definitely wasn't. I was. If you look back, I was probably the most immature. But at the same time, I was kind of, I don't want to say leader because that's not No, no, clumsy. I was going to say you, you have a, a, a leader ask about you, if that makes sense. Like you, have a, 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 you have a leader, leadership skills, yes. Yes. Um, yes, tell me more about myself. <laughs> but I always thought, like, I was like, oh, I'll be the first one to settle down. But that comes down to you being a good planner and doing, like, you do that yeah. kind of stuff. You know what I mean? I always thought that I'll be the first one to have kids and get married. And then when you... I wasn't even like, it wasn't even in my mind like, oh, I have to settle down and have kids. I think, what, what age did you get married? Um, 2019. Th- did you have kids before that? Uh, we... Kid was on the way. Yeah, kid was on the way. So, and he didn't invite me to his wedding. Not a big deal, but it's a very big deal if you nobody, obviously have paid attention. Nobody was at my wedding. I didn't have a wedding. Uh-huh. So I'm any, not into that. So anyway. I bought a house instead. Yeah, make, it makes, believe me, it makes total logical sense to me. T- t- I, me. I Tell every other girl that. I just, well, thankfully my wife is... A champ, and Very she, cool. she also doesn't care about that kind of stuff. See, I have an idea where, like, I get married, and then, like, five years later, I have, like, a a party where it's, like... And that's what we said. Maybe we'll do that later, but now it's, like, I have kids, and it's, like... But you can still party. do that party later, like, when you're, like, yeah, 20 years in. Yeah, The kids are out, like, or, you, re, what is it, like, reconfirm your vows or whatever the fuck yeah, they call yeah, that. Yeah. Like, you can have a big, woo, party. Which is cool. You can do it at any time. Yeah, no big deal. But I... Like I was saying, I always thought I'd be the first one to get married and have kids. And when you got married, I was like, oh, fuck. Oh, it felt like a fire was under you? Well, that, and I had so many things, like, in my life where I had to, like, I was in a relationship with the whore. Yeah, yeah. And I, I was getting ready to leave for So the, you felt like that made you rush a little bit? Not that only, but yeah, yeah. I was also getting ready to leave for the military. Number of things, but. Not, yeah. There were so many different things where I was like, oh, I gotta get married. And I also felt like this is it. So you can't feel like that. It has but, to, you have to do it when you're ready. But no, I was also, in my mind, ready. So there was okay. so many factors. But yeah, I was like, oh, I'll be the first one to get married and have kids. And when you got married, I was like, oh no. <laughs> and then I'm I not, think, I'm not the one. I think Channel got married too. I was like, and yeah, th- Channel got married before me. I was like, whoa, whoa, what the fuck is going on? What about like Jesse? Didn't he get married? I don't know. I don't really, I think so. But I don't really know what happens with any of this. Yeah, I don't follow all our friends from childhood. It's weird because like, there's people that I'll see that I, will actually walk away from if I see them. Jesse's one of those people. I ran into him. Me and Ash ran into Why? Because you just don't feel like going into all that? Yeah, I don't I don't like him anymore. Like, I don't like him as a person. Oh, really? Why? We Like, we hung out when I first got in the military. Okay. And I went over, like, we were partying for a while, and then his new friends were, like, kind of douchebags. Like, oh, okay. And all they did was drink every night. I, I couldn't keep, like, I was like, dude, this is too much drinking. Yeah, yeah. So you I... You just didn't feel like it was connecting. Yeah, like, it was like a... Total misconnect, and he didn't. Ha- he never had my back. He was always like on their side. I was like, all right, dude, we're fucking like, yeah, like we've been boys forever. It's just, me. Jesse was like my one of my best friends in high school. You, him, Peasy, obviously we're yeah. best friends. There's three of us. I mean, you guys all were really connected. You guys were mostly connected through me, which is yeah, weird. yeah. We all hung out together, and then after we part ways, none of us really kept in touch. No. I've seen Peasy throughout the years here and there, and we talked for a few minutes. But it's not like we had the urge to link back up because we don't have no similar interests in today's life. Me and Peasy, we saw Peasy. I don't know if you did. I saw Peasy when we did that live show at Top's Tomato. When I was uh, leaving. Uh, yeah, yeah, I remember that. I remember you telling me that. My girls, my girls said I seen him at a Phillies game close to that time. My girl said, oh, he has a good beard too. I looked at him and I said, oh, I know that guy. <laughs> he definitely, all, he definitely dyes it. He dyes his beard? It looks really black. <laughs> there's two no, good I beers in like Philadelphia. Peasy, you're my bro. I don't. You maybe. There's don't. two good beers in the Philadelphia area. Me and Peasy. If you see another guy, with I'm the sure beers, there's a lot more than no, that. No, no, no. Bro, Philly. Two good beers in Philadelphia area. Philadelphia Freeway, bro. 
Dude, freeway's in the place to be seen, and he's not here. So get the fuck right. <laughs> well, we're in Garnet Valley. <laughs> so, all right. Let's get back, <laughs> let's get back into, sh- all right, being a dad. So recently, uh, I don't want to throw him under the bus, but I recently received a gift saying number one dad on a piece of clothing, right? Statistically speaking, I'm not the number one dad. I'm not, my baby's not even born yet. You're not the number one dad. There's, what, 1.5 billion dads in the world, right? Mm-hmm. Statistically speaking, nobody Who's hears. Who's the number one dad? Do you think, if you were to rank yourself in dads, where would you rank yourself out of 1.5 billion? I want to say number one, but it's tough because you're always trying to be better. Like, I, I'm working hard because I don't feel like I'm the best yet. Yeah. So I'm trying to be where the would best you rank? myself. I mean, I already know I'm not a number one dad. Where would I, I will try myself? my hardest, but I'm not going to be a guaranteed number one dad. No, that's like, I know I try the hardest and I'm doing everything in my power to be the number one. But what would you rank yourself out of 1.5 billion? For the billions! Like one and to what? Ten? One to 1.5 billion. Where would you rank yourself? That's a lot of numbers. I agree. So where would you rank yourself? I'm um, one billion. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> one billion. There's only point five half a billion. billion more guys out there. Yeah, that are better than me. No, no, there's one billion guys that are better than you. Half a billion's a lot, though. <laughs> that, that is a lot. You're doing a great job. So I'm into myself. <laughs> <laughs> that's a that's a tough question. That's a, that's a, that's a tough one. I want to say. You know, I'm the best. But like I said, you're trying to be the best. I'm trying to work hard now. So it, he looks at me when he's older or she looks at me when she's older. And I say, man, my dad is the best. Like he did a lot for me. I think I still got a lot of life to live for them to grow up. You yeah. know what I mean? Tons. As long as you're still there. I mean, that's cool. They just want to be seen. You just want to be present. Yeah. That's most important. Yeah. So what's your biggest worry about your kid growing up? Now versus like when we grew up. My biggest worry for him. Yeah. Compared to. When we grew up. Like, so when we grew up, it's very different than the world now. Yeah. The world now is a lot more complicated. (sighs) Come on. My worry for him. Yeah. (sighs) It's so tough because I try to just think presently. I'm not. I try to think of the future, of course, but it's tough to think of him at that age and like being. So you knew how we grew up. It's very different than how he's going to grow up. Yeah. So what would you, what's like the biggest <clears throat> worry? Like, is it the technology now he is, he, he can instant, instantly connect to a fucking predator if he wanted to. Yeah, that's scary. Be, yeah, you just want them to be safe, man. It's it's scary world. You just want them to be safe. Make right choices and just be safe. I, it's tough. What would you say? <laughs> I'm most nervous about the social media aspect because social media safety and and there's so much, which is weird to say because I put a camera in my face once a week. Yeah. Like the need to have like everything that you do, and again, I don't post anything personally. There's nothing on me personally. People, I've been on all the podcasts where they say I can't find a fucking thing on you. Good, I don't want you to know what I do. Yeah. I don't want you to know that I'm shopping at Acme right now in Folsom. Yeah. I don't want you to know what the fuck I'm doing. But I'm the same way. I don't put my personal life I can, out there. The whore did that shit all the time. I was like, don't tell anybody where we are. Even though I had no and reason to care. And nowadays it's really unsafe. Thankfully, we're just like, you're just like a regular, normal white guy in suburbia. So it's not like, but nowadays people get killed for saying where they are and what they're doing. Yeah. You know so I mean? that's the, my biggest worry. What are you most jealous of, of your kid growing, kids growing up now? I guess we you well, probably relate more to Robbie because he's a boy. So let's well, just they go. have they have the tech. It's a gift and a curse. The technology, you yeah. know what I mean. They can learn anything at their fingertips and figure it out. Which we also grew up with that too. YouTube and being able to learn. So we did get to live part of that too. But I can imagine how crazy it's going to be for them with like AI and <clears throat> it's just going to be more extreme than it even is now. You know what I'm most jealous of? I guess what I'm going to say. What? <laughs> I don't guess. You you've known me more than longer than anybody else in my in my present life. What you're most jealous of about your son? Yeah, that what my son's gonna grow up with. Like sexy bitches. That's <laughs> exact. All right. So growing up, wh- who do we have to jerk off to? Thank you, your mind. We're growing up. Who's there's one person that we had to jerk off to? Tequila, tequila. 
There's only one hot girl to grow up. <laughs> what a name drop. I forgot about that. She There's, was like MySpace yes. era. Yes. There yeah. was only one girl to jerk oh off to. Oh, my God. It was Teal Tequila. You go on your phone right now, you can jerk off to a What's her deal these days? Maybe we can get her on. <laughs> I don't know where she lives. I'm assuming California yeah, doing probably. porn. Doing what a name should. drop. I yeah. forgot all about that There's girl. one person to jerk off to. Teal Tequila when we were growing up. <laughs> now, my kid's going to have so many people to jerk off to. The names aren't even invented yeah, yet. I was going to say, do names even matter? Because it's like at this no. point, the library is so big on what they get to look at. And it goes for... And you can subscribe to it and get it personally with your name involved. Infinite amount of porn. You can get the girls to say your name. Like, ugh, if I already got Teal to kill on to say my you name. You can be like, do this, do that, and they'll do it, send you the video, and you're like, yeah. yeah you just need $20, that was and, and a girl will me. stick a banana up her pussy. Like, it's crazy. It's crazy. <laughs> it's a whole different world. <laughs> I'm so jealous. Like, the things I could have jerked off to growing up is crazy. <laughs> It's wild. <laughs> Speaking about jerking off, so you have a kid, you have two kids <laughs> yeah. and a wife in one house. What's the closest you've ever been caught when you were jerking off? There's not much time these days. <laughs> there there's has not, to be some There's time. not much private space. Yeah. And it's usually going to be the shower. Mm -hmm. So can't really get caught in there because you lock the door and you're in the bathroom. You think. Yeah. So I don't really have them issues. Dude, I almost got caught yesterday. This is how... Soon this was. <laughs> so my girl, she's going to know now because she's going to listen to this definitely. So she was, she was leaving her I've nail. I've never been caught. She was leaving her nail appointment, right? And what I do when I jerk off in the showers, I put my phone in there and I put the porn on. It's on the little ledge so I can jerk off to the porn. So I, she was like, do you need anything on the way home? I was like, yeah, get the stuff for chili for tomorrow or tonight yeah, or whatever yeah. it is. So I'm like, oh, she'll have to go to the store. So I'll have time to jerk off and find my favorite porn. So I'm going through the porn, you know, slow stroking my dick. And like I'm like all soaked up. I'm like, oh, this is gonna be great. Like I I found I got the porn ready, I'm, and all I hear is a door slam. I go, oh no, she's home. So I'm like, <laughs> so I'm like, oh, it's like she's gonna walk up. So I throw my phone out. I'm like, there's no chance of me jerking off, no chance. So I start to like wash off the, all the soap because I use the soap to jerk off. And then it goes two minutes go by. I go, she might be downstairs. She's getting she's unpacking. You know, she's she's getting food ready. Uh -huh. uh -oh. So what? <laughs> but, I just uh, reach, I reach my steps for the day somehow. Uh, Talk about jerking off. <laughs> That's how I usually get my steps. So, <laughs> so I'm like, oh, I got time. So I reach soap. I, I start jerking off again, and then I just like I'm like I don't have anything to think about, so I'll just think about something that happened throughout the day. So, what I do is I I just start jerking again, and then I hear her coming up the steps. I go, oh no, I I have to finish fast. <laughs> like, like, come on, go. <laughs> so I go to like hard, <laughs> hard jerking <laughs> off. And then right, like literally the second I'm about to come, she opens the door, it oh goes out, and then I have to turn my dick away because you know it's I, still like it's still like half chubbed. Yeah. And I have to like turn my dick away and like rinse it off to like get rid of all the evidence because all the, the soap's only <laughs> the soap's from my belly button to my knees, nowhere else. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> so she's like, yeah. she comes and gives me a kiss. Hey, how you doing? What are you, what's going on? I'm like, oh, I'm just taking a shower, nothing. <laughs> What is going on? You know, just showering, you know what you do, clean it up. And that was the closest I've ever got caught to jerking. And you didn't get caught? No. Oh my god, what a fool she is. Dude, she's gonna see this and go, oh, you were jerking. <laughs> That's so funny. The best part is I planted the seed all night. Like I went to the gym. I went to visit her when she was getting her nails done after the gym. I was like, hey babe, have a good time. You know, you got plenty of time, no, no rush. So I was like, oh, I got plenty of time. You playing this much ahead of time to do this? Dude, I got to play in a, an I hour think, at least ahead of time to jerk off. I think you're a little off. bit of an addict. The jerking a, off? Sex addict. No, I just wanted to jerk off. I, 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 I haven't jerked sex, off in a month. It's release. It's it, was, it was like a month since I've jerked off. So which is, it's not like a complaint because obviously I'm getting enough sex at home. So you were looking forward to this. Yeah, I was like, this <laughs> is a little bit of me time. I don't get this enough. It's like, you know, it. you know what I mean? Like, yeah. you, like you can... You can make frozen pizza all you want, but you kind of want to order the pizza because it's better. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. You know what? Now you put it that way. I understand. So what are you going to gonna jerk off with, you know? Tonight. When you leave, here. Did you fart? No. <laughs> so are you and your girl still able to be physical with the kids there? In front of them? No. That's I weird. mean, it's up to you. Nah, um, I don't know what you and your family do. It's a challenge. You got, you know, they're, it's either they're asleep, which is easy then. As long as you get it between the time they're going to wake up and come into our bed. and So your best time is morning sex? No, it's probably um, night. Yeah, night would be better. I'm asking for myself because I'm night not Night would kid. be better because morning we all wake up the same time. It's over. Okay. We're going hard all day until... So not what, sex. What, We're going hard with children all day <laughs> until the end of the day, if possible. 
so what's your time frame like do you have like between seven and seven thirty? i can definitely get i don't know we don't i don't think into it that much it's just really? like when you get the time make a move and it'll happen if we have the time and we're not tired yeah. or it's honestly a lot more challenging yeah when I the can, kids are involved dude, especially too now. I turned and down. We might try to time. like. We, there might be a during the day type of thing. It's the weekend. We're both home chilling. We don't got no plans. You try to set the kids up in the room with their cartoons or whatever. All right, you're good. Kind of mm. like Dunphy was talking on the yeah. episode. You get them set up, give them the phone, put on the cartoons. They're like, "All right, you staying here with your brother, play with the toys. You guys watch <laughs> TV. We'll be in, in a minute. Me and mommy got to talk. You <laughs> we, know have, I mean? we have a talk. We have to talk or. We're going to go relax. You know what I mean? We just want to relax. You guys got to stay in your room. That's why you have your room. And it'll be like an hour before we get these kids to stay in the room. So it's like work. So you take your dick out. You put your dick back in. <laughs> well, you got to wait for it. It's like, all right, we got a good 10 minutes. I think they're going to be good for at least another 10, 15 yeah, minutes. Yeah. So we can get something in. So this is a, it's a challenge. Yeah. Something we've talked about before is post-nut clarity. If you guys don't know what post-nut clarity is, it's when you're about to or you're having sex and you have all these plans for... The sex you're having or the sex you're going to have afterwards. And Once how it's much done, you're disgusted, you're done, and you're like, I don't even want to, I'm going to bed. <laughs> Every time. I'm not talking about one one out of five, one out of two. I'm talking about 100% of the time. When I'm having sex for those five minutes or whatever it is, <laughs> yeah. the whole time I'm like, I can't wait to do this again as soon as I'm before done. Before or during? Be- Sometimes during. I think in my head before, like in your plan, like, yeah, it's going to be... I'm gonna, we're gonna go Before, for I just want to have sex once. I'm excited. I'm like, wee! Yeah, Here we yeah. are. We're having sex once. This is yeah. amazing. But during the whole time, in my mind, I'm thinking, we're going to do this again. I can't wait to do this <laughs> shit again. Round two is going to be even yeah, better. It's not going to last even longer. It's going to last <laughs> six minutes. <laughs> six minutes. So, as soon as... It's crazy, because literally, up to the second, the millisecond I come, I'm excited about the idea of doing it again. Yeah. The second, the millisecond that happens, I'm like, I don't want to have sex. I want to put my underwear on. I'm disgusted. <laughs> Why does it feel like that? I don't understand. <laughs> All I want to do is I'm have sex again. <laughs> I'm disgusted. <laughs> like, and it's not is like, that the same feeling when you jerk off? Isn't it kind of the same? Yeah, 100%. It's like, what the fuck? Why did you do this, Justin? Why, why are you doing this? You're sick. Why are you the way that you are? That's the devil. That's yeah. what that is. Yes, but it's the post not clarity. I don't understand. Like, I don't think women understand. We have so many plans. I'll be like, oh, we're going to have sex so many times. Like They don't have no plans. No, it's but all, no, I'm doing. saying me. I'm, yeah. I've said to this to people, like, we're going to have sex like three or four times. I can't wait. Like, <laughs> don't you put your clothes back on because we're having sex again. <laughs> and I have sex once. I go, I just put my underwear back on. Like, I'm underwear. Cool. You like, good? like it's bad. a little shameful thing because yeah. I'm like, definitely not have, having sex again after this. I'm fucking... <laughs> over for me <laughs> post not clarity and this, she sits there and goes what, what happened I thought and it's over. <laughs> we're gonna do it again I thought you were so excited about this yeah I'm just a little tired you know? <laughs> just tired I'm now cool you alright <laughs> alright and she doesn't get off she, she's like yeah. oh <laughs> five minutes what do you think guess but next guess, time but no 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 seriously this is a 100% serious conversation if women aren't coming it's not on the main like you need to like it's all on their brain not necessarily if you know it how takes to work, I but think. if you know how to get yourself to come, why? Girl, every time I've talked to a girl on this show, I don't like, think they all. I they think say I, I can get my show, myself off in a minute, right? Like, I can get myself in a minute. I can get myself off in a minute, no problem. So why the fuck can't you? Why can't you do what you need to do? Be greedy in sex. Yeah, yeah. Let her do her thing. I'm saying she, she girls should be greedy in sex. If they're the ones that can't come. Be greedy for the first minute. I don't think they really can get themselves off in a couple minutes, like they say. I don't. I don't know. This is what girls have said on the show. I, Maybe it's the like, show's been going for almost three years, and every girl that's been like, I can get off in less than a minute by myself. I think there's a lot of cap, cap, cap. You know, cap, capping, cap. lion. Dude, you know what I noticed today? What? I just looked at your forehead and I thought on my own. What's on my forehead? <laughs> always make somebody feel good? self-conscious about something before you bring it up on yourself. <laughs> Pro tip: I started seeing wrinkles come on my forehead, which oh, is no. not a good thing because. I got, some wrink- I got some wrinkles. <laughs> well, you have a scar. Got, uh, yeah, what, got, what happened here? I got some scars. What, right here? Yeah. Um, I was playing around with my little brothers when we were younger, when I lived in Oxford, that yeah. house. And I like I was playing with them, and I, I like flung down, and I threw a flashlight up in the air. Uh-huh. 
And then it came back down and smashed me in the head. Fucking That's idiot. one way. And then the other one, there's like an X there. You see kind of like an X kind of. No, but go on. And then when I was a little kid, I was running through these cement tunnels and my mom was like chasing, playing with me, chasing yeah. me through them, saying the leprechaun's coming, he's going to get you. And I smacked my head on these cement tunnels and split my head open and then take me to the hospital. Dude, I got to pee right now. Can you set up the TV while I pee? No way, bro. Do it, baby. No. And then we're going to talk about potty uh, times. About what? Potty times. Potty time? Yes. All right. Are you ready, Robbie? Dude, I'm a little bit. I'm a little bit ready. So I just got done peeing. We Should don't have to worry about what take other. Take some more shot. <laughs> we'll take, we can take another we shot. See what's on this TV. I'm a little nervous. <laughs> so a little right. nervous. So I just got done going potty, right? That's me, this big potty guy. He's got some tricks up his sleeve. So I didn't say one more. I got some in there. Don't be a fucking bitch. Be polite. You're Mexican. I'm gonna hit you with this it? chair by the end of this. <laughs> we are not drinking Better that call much. your brother <laughs> I'm too big for you to be hit with chairs anymore So <laughs> We're both too I can't even lift a chair And you cannot get hit by a chair <laughs> Our backs cannot handle any part of this Oh it all hurts So dude Alright so we, I just want to pee right Today I was going I was taking a poop right Okay My girl said My girl was waiting for me to get up Because she was going somewhere To like give me a hug and a kiss goodbye I don't know why she would do that But go ahead And I'm like I don't get up when I'm done pooping, I get up when my feet are numb. <laughs> like, when is your poop done? Yeah, my, my girl does say I take long poops. But that's like my um, peaceful moment. Like, yeah, so, that's my peace. <laughs> so you have two kids and a wife. When do you, know, you get up when you're, done, when you're pooping? I don't walk into a peaceful moment. You know, I got two kids and a wife. Yeah, so when do you help. get up? <laughs> when do you get up? I'm just kidding. Are you um, getting up with your feet? Like, is there a point where you're like, I'm done pooping? Or are you just... Uncomfortable. At that point, right? It's like... Like your butthole's getting cold? When my phone dies. <laughs> That's when I'm getting up. When my phone dies. So my feet are not your phone. Did you ever dead. have to go take a shit when your phone's dead and you can't bring it in? No, I, I have not dealt with that. That in is a very long time. It's like, what's the point of pooping? <laughs> what am I going to look at? I can't bring my phone. I can't look at hot like, girls on the internet. Do? What are you going to do? Just sit there and poop? What do you look at on your phone when you're pooping? Oh... Uh, all sorts of things. <laughs> He's like, I can't answer that. It depends. Some, that might be one of the moments where you take a moment to yourself. Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, you're, you're jerking off and taking a poop at the same time? So, no, you got to finish the poop, then do that. <laughs> then you put it right in the toilet and flush it down. You know what I want to do now? I want to jerk off while I'm taking a poop. While? Yeah. At the same time? I want to see if I can even do that. I don't know. That's hard. I don't know. Because you have, you, have <clears throat> you have to pull your balls through your... Legs too. So you That's gotta, gross. You it's gotta like poop a smelly. With, you gotta poop with like a V. It's a smelly orgasm. <laughs> <laughs> the smelly orgasm is a pretty good name for that episode. Oh so, my god, bro. <laughs> so, again, we were talking about growing up, right? Mm-hmm. You were a rapper. I'm I'm still a rapper, producer, engineer guy. Yeah, but we were, when we were growing up, I don't rap as much. We were rapping up. You're we were, when we were growing up. You were a rapper. Yeah, I was rapping. So I thought giving we could, out CDs in school. Are you gonna bring up an old rap song? So I thought maybe we could watch. Tell something. me this is you a hater. <laughs> I Did wish you find that? I cannot uh, find that anywhere. Do you have it somewhere? Uh, I have to. Salo might. I gotta, I, dude. Salo, well, he'll be on in a couple of weeks. Salo ones. has so many videos that we need. We have to get a hold of him. Well, we'll he has the Jim him, Judge we'll episode that we can never air. Why? Dude, I, I know it was crazy. If my brother talks, it's too much. Dude, that was a good He'll one. He'll be putting back in jail. Can we bring him back on? No, absolutely not. Bro, it's going to be fun. You don't speak to him? I do, kind of. But like every time I'm like... Jim's fun, bro. bro I always have fun with you. <laughs> you know I always liked your brother. Everyone likes, some, everyone likes my brother more than I like my brother because he's an asshole. Yeah, I mean, when yeah. you have to deal with somebody 24-7. Yeah, I won't, if, I was, if I was you, I would hate him. Yeah, The but joke's not funny when you're For me, I it. can leave. You know what I mean? And just <laughs> see him in a couple more days and smoke with him or something. And it's cool. It's not my reality. It's funny to see a shit show from afar. Everyone likes yeah. to watch a hurricane exactly. in a different state. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I thought we could watch a little bit of fast food rap. Fast food rap. And oh, just, classic just, parody song. You just know, see we, it. we did all that just stuff we, too. Just react to it. Yeah, there sure. goes Robbie. <laughs> there goes Sailor, who we're talking about. Who actually edited the first like two episodes of this podcast. I live close to that McDonald's now. <laughs> I think this is like 4, 480p And we're like Oh my god <laughs> I'm way better than this guys This is just for some fun stuff I don't know I thought you You had the dog tags on Yeah I had the look I had the earrings <laughs> Spent a top dollar Chick-fil-A to get a burger somehow <laughs> And you see what happened I got really fat <laughs> He really did get really fat Compared to that 
Oh my god, look how cool that hat was though. That was a cool hat. Is that me in the background? <laughs> oh, are you embarrassed by this or, oh, or do you nah, enjoy it's, this? It's funny, I don't care. Oh, that's channel. Who we've referenced. That beer pong table was in my house forever. That's channel again. <laughs> Fucking comedy gold. Oh he was God. so weird. He would never talk in his regular voice. <laughs> what did you think of it? It was pretty good. This song? You loved it. You I liked did. all my bad stuff. I loved his early stuff because it was so funny. You like like Welcome to Ridley and like oh my the God. corny songs. My he face liked. hurts from smiling because it's so funny to me. Like my cheeks hurt. My brother sends a song to me sometimes, <laughs> and I'm always like, why do they pick these songs? Because like, it's the only song we can find on the internet. There's no other songs. There's so many more songs in this. I have current videos you could have showed, but that's no, no, not no, no, funny. No, 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 that's not funny. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's not funny. That's just sad. Because that. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> He's being serious. It's not cool. Oh, there's always be in the background waving my hands. <laughs> yeah, you had a couple. You never even want to jump on the mic? Just try it out. Remember we I had like Angry Andy? Were you, was I Angry Andy? Remember we had the skits? We were doing skits. You got involved in the skits. I don't remember that. I was angry. Remember that? The old school Arby's? That was cool. Yeah. Oh, that's me driving. That's my, me and my car. Yep. <laughs> I thought that was your brother's car. It was. He, oh, that was me again. There goes, there goes Salo. You'll see him in a couple weeks. <laughs> this video quality is horrible. I was saying at the beginning, it's like 480p. Right. And we're like, oh my God, this is amazing. And now we're 4K or better. <laughs> there goes Shadow again. It's fucking weird. <laughs> it's funny. Let's take a shot to, to deal with the embarrassment of you being alive. All right, we'll bring this down. The embarrassment of being alive? Thanks, bro. <laughs> I came a long way. I have a recording studio. I record artists <laughs> daily. talking about my dick? Yeah, I record Justin in here. I got good at the recording, guys. I'm much better now. I'm, a pro I'm on professional level now. We all start somewhere, right? So don't hate. You got to love it. Oh, my God. I just love showing that because it's so funny to me. Oh, look, appearances by Justin Judge, Ryan Channel, and Tony Sidoni. <laughs> yeah, we had to give you guys your credit. <laughs> Hold on, I want to go back. I want to go back to another video of mine. So we talked about how you did this, and I kind of did the jackass type, channel, right? yeah. Yeah, type of situation. So let's go to, can you turn the volume back up, please, sir? Yeah, yeah. So let's go to one of my. Look, there's FAH, FAH, that's a good one. FAH, uh, that's probably you, too good. That's not fun to listen to yeah, or make no. fun of. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, this is not. I mean, there's yeah. rope and dough, which is obviously the best one, oh but I, Man on Fires, let's just go with that one for a quick one. So this is, because we've talked about this a few times on the show, where I let my back off. Dude, look how, I just like to look at how in shape I was. Like, yeah. dude, I had a fucking six pack. You were in shape back then. Were, didn't you wrestle? Wrestled football, a bunch of gay shit. God damn it, Justin. Don't say Remember you yelled at me? Like, I said, stop. <laughs> you got more mad about the water than the fire. <laughs> Watch, I pour it on you again. You yell at me. Don't do that again. Don't do that again. Oh, yeah, I saw you. What? What? Stop doing it, you fucking weasel. Don't do that again. Don't do that again. Don't do that Don't do that out there. Jesus, we Justin. Don't like that word. Again, this is fucking early He 2000s. got more mad about the water than the flamethrower <laughs> to the black back. Oh, fuck. Because, I mean, it was cold on my hot. Go back to the other videos. I want to see what else. We're not going to watch it anymore. I know. I just want to look at what's there. Look at Aaron Carter. What's he doing there? Aaron's party. <laughs> He's dead. Are you? <laughs> Let's take a shot. You made me pour it on the shot, motherfucker. I have a little more in there. Fuck, you better finish a it. tiny bit. Look. Come here. Come on. Come on. Bro. I've always taken I'm care of you a whole life. You. So have I. I've always fucking taken care of him. You're welcome. Always taking care of me, man. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, that's the most tequila I had all year. That's I don't want to have ed that much tequila ever again. Ugh. Ugh. That's disgusting. That was your fault. You were supposed to have beers here. You were supposed to bring beers. I, you never, you never said bring them. I would have. I told you I had them in my fridge. <laughs> oh, Ugh. my God. My favorite joke that your dad had when we were growing up. Oh, man. What is it? What do you think it's going to be? I don't even know. So, it's, so many things that we're going to say is like not like accepted. Appropriate? Now. Yeah. But I kind of want to say Just it. say it. If it doesn't feel right, I'll take it out. I'm going to say it either way. Just keep uh, it in. Uh, no, so we just went to Atlantic City, right, for uh, skinny of any shirts on right here and to see the Steve-O show. Great show. Um, we were there. There was a fudge factory. Do you remember what your dad used to say every fudge, time? Fudge packer? <laughs> he used to, Is he used to say. A bunch of fudge packers there or something like that. <laughs> we and Robbie would be in the car. Say we would go to the beach for the day or whatever we would do. 
And whenever we drove past like a, a fudge store, he used to say, I hear they're hiring for some Packers in there. <laughs> <laughs> some fudge Packers in there. He always got the one-liners like that. Oh, it was He's so got good. some good ones. Do you remember going to New York for my birthday one year? New York City? Yes, I don't... Me, you, and my dad. What did we do? Like, are you I think we just... Uh, no, nah, I just I just was wondering if you remember that. I remember going there. The World Trade Center was already gone, right? I think yeah, it was it, like maybe a year after. Like it was, and they're rebuilding. They're rebuilding. It was still, rebuilding, rebuilding like it was still very recent. It was still very yeah, recent. Yeah, I, I just remember that, and my dad always remembers that. So I was wondering if you did. Oh, oh, I'm in his memories. Yeah, you're in there. He always says he's one ugly son of a bitch. <laughs> does he? I say, yeah, he is. <laughs> it's he funny because he knows about the podcast now, and I think my mom's watched it a little bit here and there, and he's always like. Man, he's crazy. He's always been a little weird. <laughs> <laughs> so, but, oh, that's funny. What does your mom say about me? So we'll go with what our parents say about each other. Uh, not in negative. She's just like, man, that show is crazy. He really said some stuff on there. <laughs> she, she was watching that at one time for a little bit. Even after I wasn't um, a host no more. Uh-huh. She w- Yeah, she used to watch a little bit. My brother was watching it for a while, too. And then you lost them all. What did I, what did I say to nah, I'm just kidding. I don't know specifically, but <laughs> I piss everyone off eventually. What's your job? You're the villain. Uh, I'm not. I'm just a good host. So my parents always say. Yeah. This. What do they say about me? So when we were growing up. Oh uh, yeah, I, know, I already know. What? How I was clumsy. <laughs> Dude, I was you? spilling cake in this kid. I was there all the time. It was my second home. So Robbie was over. Like again, you were growing up. Oh, about you to high school. Yeah. Uh, my house is kind of like the hangout house because we had a full basement. Everyone loved it. Yeah. The basement, we had trampolines and shit. But he used to drop cake. Like nobody. Cake or whatever it was. Whatever. Right? <laughs> yeah. He would walk. <laughs> three. I'll bring it to the table for you, Rob. All right. <laughs> three it, it made steps. me feel like a real doofus. <laughs> <laughs> three steps in and this dude's dropping what, pizza, what? cake. Know, what was up with me back I then? mean, again, my feet were getting I'm struck by his mom. But... We'll bleep that out. No, keep it in there. I want her talk to hear. I want mother. her to know. You about won't it. talk about my mother like that. I'll bleep that out. <laughs> and then Robbie couldn't. So I was self conscious about my feet and my face and everything growing up because of his family. Yeah. <laughs> he I was, was just, just self conscious about his hands being clumsy. held together. I'm still clumsy myself, so it's just part of me. <laughs> Two, I am, and I've accepted it. It's not a bad thing to be. If all things you can be, it's not too bad. <laughs> What's the worst thing you can be? Smelly fucking ugly feet guy. <laughs> <laughs> you? <laughs> I would never want to be a I would never want to be bald. <laughs> Dude, I love being bald. You nah, should. You rock bald cool. I've been bald for, like, I've been doing this forever, though. Yeah, you always it, had I was like 9th or 10th grade that I got rid of my hair. You had that little scar, and you never had the little uh, hair right there. Yeah, what so was I, that scar you had? You still right have here. it? Right so here. What was that from? It, I got a uh, mole removed. That's right. Yeah, like suck, didn't you have like skin? It was like could be cancer, so they took yeah, it off. Yeah, so it was, ben- it was a bunch of benign shit around. He was my always body. like, "Yeah, I have cancer." They cut it out. Dude, I you was fucking really, tough. You don't like, really know dude, if you had it. <laughs> it was like it might be, so we're gonna be sure. Oh yeah, dude, there were so many thighs that I made up in high school. Like everyone does. Uh, they shouldn't have cut that out. That was good for you. Uh, the the cancer. It was melanin <laughs> Mel- forming in your body. You could have been. You safe. want the you want the melons in there to grow. Not melons. Wait, I I wanted a melon though. You don't want a melon. Melanin. Oh, so like, so I wanted to be Don't like worry darker. About it. Yeah, you could have been. <laughs> I could have been Puerto Rican like you. Yes. So I lost. My I Puerto didn't cut Rican. mine out in the summer. <laughs> look I'm how cool. Strong, look how strong I am. I'm so fucking strong. <laughs> so what else was cool about us growing up? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> we didn't do much. <laughs> we had fun, you know. Um, trying to think of some cool things to touch on. <laughs> I was never really big into sports. We used to play football and stuff, neighborhood stuff, but never, I never played for a team. I was always the douchebag who would play football and then take a shirt off because I kind of had a six pack and I worked out. He thought, but he still didn't have no pussy. <laughs> no. He thought the six pack was going to get Dude, him something. If I it stop, never helped. If I stopped drinking, I could have definitely had pussy. My problem was I would get too drunk before the pussy would get there and I would go up and go to sleep and you guys would be hanging out with the pussy and my brother. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> like the pussy would Talking be there. Talking shit about you. Yeah, the pussy would be there waiting for me. And I'm like, I'm gonna go you upstairs. You messed it up all by yourself. I, I, dude, I was such. I should have tried the pep talk you a little bit more. Like, hey, maybe you should stop drinking. I was definitely an alcoholic. Yeah, you, you're into drinking. I think I was. Remember, an you worked at the movie theater. Yeah, I was. And that, we used to go in there sometimes and watch movies. That made it so much worse because yeah. I would drink all day at work, and the bosses would drink, and everyone would just be. And who was that fuck. kid? We had that, your one friend that used to come over and drink with us like Mike. later on. Yeah, Mike. <laughs> I recently thought about him for some reason. And you're, 
not Fantasies. my dreams. <laughs> not, but I just, re- I was thinking about us growing up and I, just some friends that, you know, we don't see no more and that kid's face popped in my head for some reason. <laughs> Which is weird because he's like five or ten years older than us. So it's He was older than us, yeah. It's yeah. weird they call him kid, but yeah. Well, everyone was kid back then, kid. <laughs> but yeah, he's a lot older than us. For he sure, was an alcoholic. Sure. Oh, yeah. He's probably still an alcoholic. His nose was red and everything. He's like, Rudolph the Red Nose Do you remember the time we walked into that wrong house when we were going to a party at Jesse's house? So we were going to a house for a party. We were walking to our friend Jesse's house that we've mentioned before in this episode. Part of the neighborhood that we don't usually, like, hang out. So it yeah, was like, he never had parties All the house. streets look the same. It's dark out. Yeah, so we're going in there looking, getting ready to drink. Come to the back door. We're all in here. Yeah, yeah so we walk in the back door, and instead of walking into a bunch of high school kids drinking, we walk into an old guy I don't know what he... Was Middle-aged he, guy, probably 35, 40. Oh, he looked... In my mind, he was so much older. I thought he was like 40 years old. He could be. Yeah. In my mind... And he's, he's, he has a remote in his hand. He's looking. He's like, the hell? And we're like, <laughs> sorry, wrong house. <laughs> and we just like Which ran. must have freaked him the fuck out. Like, he probably Dude. locks his back door forever now. Oh, yeah. I would have been shook. Dude, we've traumatized... Like, do you realize how many people we've traumatized? With, like, uninvert... Like, we didn't try to traumatize them. Just the crazy... Like, there's so many kids who won't go to, like, the elementary school... Since elementary school, because we used to just go pick on them? It wasn't that. We weren't bullies like that. Oh, we weren't bullies. We were young. You know, DDT day? Dude, we used to fucking DDT people. Just We just <laughs> we were real big into wrestling. So yeah, so there's we some were just, kids on the block that, you know, we didn't. Little we bit just, pussies. So we used, to, we used to just declare DDT day whenever we felt like it. And we would literally DDT. And if you've never watched wrestling, it's a fucked up move to do to somebody in real yeah, life. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> And we used to tackle the Christmas ornaments in the neighborhood, just ruin people's Christmas ornaments. What else did we used to do? We used to light tons of fires. My favorite thing that I've ever done was remember the Pokemon store that was like the underground spot. Yeah, I remember when it, the Pokemon store flooded and they were clearing out the basement, and I went in there to buy Pokemon cards. I was their only customer. That's and how the, dedicated I was. They had some chick was. that worked there that was like really hot. Yeah, and, and she, she was in was love like, with you. You know how much that sucked for me? Everyone was like, all the girls like, oh, he's so cute, though. What was it? My style? You're fucking... Is impeccable? There's so many words I want to say that I can't say anymore. <laughs> Dude, I just had swag, bro. I still got it. Just something you don't have. But it's weird because everyone loves me and everyone hates you. I think it's the obesity. You mean so, vice versa? No, no, no. Everyone I'm loves me, everyone so hates obese. you. I'm saying you're so obese. I have like... Bro, I'm not. I, like, look, I am considered the, obese, probably. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> but like, it's not that bad. But you, I, well, so there's two kinds of dad bods in the world, right? And I have the best one. <laughs> no, you have the obese dad bod. Where no, like, I don't. I don't. No, I one. don't. I, I have the, the regular dad bod. No, no, no. And I have the dad bod where girls think about the, like I have muscle. How tall are you? Five nine, five ten. I don't know. You're a little taller than me, so you're probably five ten. Okay, so I'm five, six two, whatever I am. So I'm a, six, a two. staggering six two individual. He's not six two. <laughs> if you're listening, how six, much do you weigh? 190, 195, somewhere around All there. right, you're looking good. Looking so, good. again, there's two types of dad bods in the world. You can't see his double chin because he has a beard. So, so there's, two types, that up. there's two types of dad bods in the world. There's the dad bod where men think of, which is the obese, disgusting dad bod, which Robbie has. And then there's the muscle-bound... <laughs> stra- <laughs> fucking guy. <laughs> Strapping Dude, dad bod my, with a little, bit of, a little bit of belly, a little bit of punch. Your face so, is so ugly... <laughs> <laughs> that my dad bod doesn't even matter. Like, if we're walking on the beach, uh-huh. you could have the best body ever, but the face no way, bro. is fucking terrifying I'm to children. You, if, children run screaming. If we were single right now, I think I would clean the fuck up. No. You I think you would do better than me single? I promise you I would do better. In what it way? has nothing to do with looks. What, what does it have to do with then? I'm more charming than you. You think? Yeah. I, dude, ask... Every from here on out for the next month, two months we'll say, because you know we're spreading episodes out. Ask every girl that comes on the show Uh who they'd rather hang out with at the bar. Someone comes up, would you rather hang out with you or me? Oh, one hundred percent me. Are you kidding with me? For real? Hanging out with? Yeah, just hang out. I'm a fucking great time. I'm a great time. I agree. They would trust me more. I'm more like (laughs) I'm jovial. I look like Sam. Like, dude, we're two are... guys. He's about to have a kid. I have kids. None of this shit's gonna happen. We're oh, just... never. I I have no. We interest hung in... it up, and we're just looking for a little something. But here. but I want to. I I need this in my life that I am better looking <laughs> and more. You you inviting. needed that for a while, so you huh? can have it. You need that. <laughs> you need <laughs> that. <laughs> Let me have this. This is uh, all I have. You have that. Yeah, I don't even need it. I've had it this whole time. See, he's doing reverse psychology where he's like, "Oh, I'm so fucking good looking and cool." He I just I'm he has a little bit of pigment. He's like, "Oh." I look a little Hispanic, so girls will like me more. It works. Well, I mean, 
I don't really care about it. I can't, I can't talk guy. too much on this, and I don't care about it anyway. You look good, bro. Oh, you look... So, so let's, let's, talk, <laughs> let's talk... No, we're not closing out yet. We got a little more time. Um, we got to talk more about what you got coming up. So you're about to be a dad. Do you have anything you're worried about or something you have a question about or... I want to save the... No, I, I, I'll ask questions, but I... But, we're going to have an episode We can get soon. more in-depth with this, yeah. With just, the Salo episodes, we're going to get more in-depth. Like just me and you. The, the sex was my biggest question, <laughs> which you kind of answered. Yeah, it kind of slims up. the time. It's, But it, in a way, it becomes less important. It's still important. You have to make sure there's time for it. But you don't need it as much. What about the sleep thing? What's the sleep really like? That's tough. If you have a kid that's not sleeping, it's going to be real tough. Because you got to figure out your schedules. Who's All right, so I've up? said a lot of things on the podcast where I've said that having a dog is harder than raising a kid. Yeah, you know that's not true. Right, I know that that's not true because I've been told to say that because everyone was very, very upset with me. I know. I knew it was going to happen too. <laughs> but I don't give a fuck. It's fun. But I've also said that, I mean, it's not that hard to raise a kid because everyone just thinks it's hard to raise a kid because they've never actually dealt with anything difficult in their life. That's one case, maybe, but that's not the case for everyone. Is it really that hard? Is it really like, oh, woe is me, or is it... It's hard because time management is hard. It's way harder because of time management. Time management's already hard if you're a busy person. All right, so right Which now... you consider yourself a busy person, right? You always got so, something going on. So let's go with my day-to-day life. How is it going to change? So I wake up normally around 5 to 5.30 a.m. From there, I get ready for work, or... Uh, I haven't done that on camera in a while, so I'm... All right, so I'll go back. So, 5, 5.30, I wake up. I get ready for work. I go to the office. I come back around 4, 4.30. Mm-hmm. I go to the gym. And then I'll eat dinner. And then I'll take a shower and go to sleep. What's different? So, what are you guys going to do? Are you going to have child care? What do you mean by child care? Like, is someone... How early or how soon... Like, Ash so is I, still going to work, right? Yeah, so we're both still I'm just working. trying to figure out your whole schedule. It's like, when you leave, who's going to be with your kid? So who when I leave? You leave five thirty a.m. You, I don't, I don't know, and I don't even know how you slept that night. I don't know if your kid's up crying every two hours. I don't. That's what I'm saying. A, I have a, no idea. Is what, Ash breastfeeding? I don't know. Every, All I these think, things. I are think factors. most girls plan to breastfeed, but it doesn't not always, always work out. Yeah. Like you said, your girl couldn't, right? Yeah, she tried with Robbie, and it didn't work out, and we chose not to. That's what my girl's most nervous about right now: is not being able to breastfeed. Not being able to. She wants to. Yeah. Okay. I didn't, I've never heard a girl say I don't want to breastfeed. Um, yeah, I don't know. It just like, depends on... I guess I don't talk to a lot of girls with breasts. <laughs> <laughs> I guess not. All right, so wait. What's different in my day-to-day life? So I just gave you a five to... All right, well, I need questions answered. Is the kid going to child care? So at three months in, we're planning on putting him in daycare for two days a week? See, that was terrifying to me. I didn't want to do that. I don't plan on it, but I don't have parents. Like, a lot of people yeah. have parents that are, like... Well, Katie stayed home three months in. She stayed home. When we had Robbie, she took off a good amount of time to get, get to a, him to an age. Not, like, a year or nothing, but... Yeah, we. I have my in-laws, and we, three days out of the week, I drop them off. The, I drop them off there in the morning mm-hmm. before I do whatever I'm doing. So you're super lucky with that. Yes, super I don't not. I do not have, and that's just three days a week. Now, look, in order for them not to do that all the time, Katie has to go to work earlier, mm. and I have to wake up with the kids every morning. Like I still do construction in the morning time, you know, three days a week maybe, depending. I kind of just so I give Robbie a lot of shit on the show, which again, it's reason. There's a reason for it because his family fucked me up growing up, but. <laughs> Which so I reap it. I reap this. Yeah. So it's his fault. <laughs> it's probably his fault. So, but he does work. How many days a week? Three or four? Uh, it depends. It depends on you know what kind of money I'm trying to make that week. But I kind of move my schedule. With, which I'm lucky. I can move my schedule around. But I work nighttime at the studio, and then seven daytime. p.m. to twelve a.m. And then daytime. And then daytime eight a.m. until four p.m. And then. There's so still, I, then I there's still co- time for dad. So okay. then I got to come home for from 4 p.m. I say I get home at 4 o'clock. I'm going to be there for 2, 3. Depends on my schedule, what time I'm going to the studio that night. So what's changing with my life? I'm telling you how my life's changing. I don't know how it's going to work <laughs> for you. Like I don't, if you're going to have to drop the kid off in the morning, 
yeah. at the daycare. Yeah. So that's going to change. I drop, drop the kid and the dog off. Well, okay. I think Ash is going to do the kid. I'm going to. You do drop the dog. the dog off now in the morning. Two night, two days a week. Yeah. Two days a week. So every day of the week you're going to have to drop the kid off now, and two days, two of them days you got to drop the kid and the well, dog. Well, when I work from home, I don't give a fuck. I work from home three days. Well, that's days a cool. Week. At least you get to work from home. Yeah. So I have two days, and I'm going to start applying to jobs that are 100 percent remote. There's websites. That it's just are. a lot of time management things, you know what I mean? And depending on if your kid sleeps, but that's in the beginning. you got to get them on a schedule. That's important. My kids go to bed 7.30 p.m. every night. And then when do they wake up? 7 a.m. 12 hours these kids sleep? My kids sleep. What are you doing to them? We put them on the schedule, though, early. You're fucking drugging them. I'm not drugging them. No, nah, I don't give my kids Knocking nothing. them the fuck out? Just punch them in their fucking face. Fuck those kids! Nah, we, um... Yeah, and, ki- and a lot of them... A lot of the nights, Katie's putting them to sleep because I'm going to the studio to work at night. Is that hard to put a kid to sleep? I feel like it's easy. No, we could, I just got a few texts. My girl was having some trouble. And, <laughs> so, oh, and, no, and no, when no. there's trouble, I have to get texts about it. But I'm at work. Yeah. Right? This is cool. I'm technically working right now. I'm just hanging out with my friend talking. But some nights, your, I'm your this, friend? My bestest friend. Thank you. But Sometimes by the way, Robbie likes to throw over on best friend a lot. That's not me, and I don't appreciate that. But go on. I'm sorry, bud. But I'm in this, uh, wherever I am, I'm working, and she's having trouble putting the kid to sleep and telling me, this giving me a hard time, blah, blah, blah. I'm at work. What can I do? But it's like, I want to help, but it's like, I can't. It's so That's funny. a pressure. You got to feel these pressures. Before the podcast started, Robbie was like, oh, something happened. And I haven't looked at my phone for a little bit because we're setting up. So it took like, you know, I don't know, <laughs> half hour to get set up. I haven't looked at my phone since I pulled up because I'm getting set up real quick. I look at my phone. I got four texts. She's having a hard time. I want to at least be there to console, give a call. Look, it's going to be all right. Just, <laughs> I'll be done at this time. If they're still not asleep, I'll help out. I got to say whatever I can say. Where, I mean? where am I on the, the scale? I want to I bring it back to me because it's always about me. Always about him. Where am I on the scale of the neediest to the least needy clients you can call me? My cl- Out of my clients? Yeah, so out of the people that come to the studio. Oh, you're pretty up top with that. Like, which up top? Like, the most needy or the least needy? Oh, how, how needy are you? You're yeah. the most needy. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're the most needy. You're very needy. But that's fine. It's cool. I deal Why am I so... De- like, in what way it's am just, I so... It's just how your personality is designed. It's not really what... You're not really that needy, but... I like to be set up when yeah. there's a time to be set up and start. Because I do not like to be up late. I'm an early bird. He, he needs to get it together. Like I want to, and I envy that because I'm like, bro, I'm here at 12 a.m. and still got to get up at, you know, seven o'clock, six thirty. So like, what you bitching about? Right now it's nine eleven. Yeah. In my brain, when I said we're gonna start recording an hour podcast tomorrow, I get to that's... wake up with my kids, so it's not so bad. But some days, but let, he be bitching. I gotta wake up and do construction tomorrow. Again, let me talk about me. No, fuck you. We were supposed you to start. Don't at, matter. No we were supposed more. to start a one hour podcast at seven, right? It's nine eleven. I so I told mind, I mind. told you I was pulling up here at seven o'clock. We're meeting here at seven. I pulled up at seven on the dot. But but nothing was ready, right? No, I haven't been here for two days. Again, but uh, but uh, what I'm saying is I like I was like, but I don't think that's. Needed. It's always ready though. When you come, most of the time it's always yes, ready. Yes, I agree. But in my mind, I'm saying at nine eleven. I was like, oh, at nine eleven, I'll be in bed. Like I'll be in bed by with my my Nyquil yeah, yeah. little shot, and I'll be ready. Nah. Why? But, Why be ready? Because life doesn't always do what you want it to Get do. Get used right? to not sleeping because it's coming. Oh, I've I've been trained not to sleep, so it's been. No, a- you haven't. I haven't seen it yet because you always be bitching about needing to get your thirty-five hours of sleep. Because I, I know I need my sleep, bro. A bitch, huh? Bro, I'm a fucking fucking. This fuck motherfucker's a bitch. See, see huh? he grew up listening to Fifty Cent. I listen to Eminem. I'm real fuck. <laughs> listen to him too, bro. <laughs> I'm a huge M fan. Come on, let's get to the promotion aspect. No. I want to pee. I'm then. not done. If you don't, if you're not done, I got I'll pee. a lot to say. If you're not I'm done, I'm trying I'll pee. to keep him up as late as I can to get him upset. <laughs> this is this is gonna upset me. All right, you want to get into the promotion aspect? Let's do the promotion aspect. Right. Go. There's a camera right there in front of your face. So up. what's up? I am Gator Boots All right, with so the pimped out Gucci. I and our studios come for us for music recording, um, engineering, producing, podcast recording, video editing. Uh, live music, recording, anything. We do we do kind of all content creation. Um, specialize in hip-hop music, but I like r and I'll record with some bands. I'll do it all. So come see us, and we'll take care of you. 
So I want to thank Robbie from INR Studios. Um, Wait, I want to shout out loving, loving Them What. You yeah, know? go ahead and talk about them. I forgot to promote them. They're um, a good podcast. They've been recording here for a long time. and um, A good one, huh? We love them. You, dude, what's up with your, fing- what's all your fingernails? Which one? This all one? of them. Do you bite all of them? They're not even that bad, but are they like bitten kind of? None of them look like they've been cut by fingernail, like clippers. Oh, uh, yeah. I do bite them a little bit. You need to stop because they look fucking like. They're crack- not that bad. They look like crack nails. I've seen people that got them way worse. You got douchebag nails. What's going on? Dude, they go you, underneath. You the- got a douchebag face. I'd rather douchebag <laughs> nails. Look you at your. Me? You got frog hands. Show your hands. <laughs> I got gator hands. <laughs> He's got the gator hands. <laughs> You got the. You've always had the weirdest hands to me. Again, another reason that I've been super. Why do they look like that? <laughs> They're like. It looks like you were just in the in the tub for like three hours and they at get all wrinkly, times. but at they just stay like that. Yeah, and your they feet never. are the same way. Yeah, and smell. All right, go. So, <laughs> so again, if you guys are ever wondering why I'm mean to Robbie when he doesn't have anything to say, right now is the moment. I want to thank Iron R Studios for having. I was going to say us, but it's just me out here. It's just me. I'm here too for having me and Robbie. I'm Rob. Iron R Studios. Is no, your name's my Robbie. Oh. So he grew up with you. me, so he's yeah. going to be Robbie forever, no matter what he says. Family calls me Robbie. Yeah, my so. son's Robbie. What's up, kid? He's jealous. So I want to thank Robbie from Iron R Studios for having us out here. If you want to fucking record music or listen to a podcast and all those things you want to do, cool, do that. Um, obviously, we're changing to our episodes now because about to have a kid. Uh, we're going to be a little more selective with our guest after the kid's born and right now. So there's going to be more episodes where me and I am one-on-one with the guest or the Maybe eventually we can sit on here with our kids. I don't know what we need to do. There's, I'm sure there's a lot of waivers with that, but we'll figure that out. There are kids. We can do whatever uh, we want yeah, with so them. We, you know, fucking throw them out the fucking roof. They're ours. Pack some fudge, whatever you want, right? We, we made them. <laughs> yeah. Fucking, we can do the jokes. We can my, fucking create them and kill them. We can do the jokes my dad used to do to us to them. I can't wait to bully my kid, dude. I always talk about this where I'm like, <laughs> I can. Well, the same reason I got a dog is the same reason I got a kid. I was like, I just want to wrestle. Hit it. Uh, <laughs> go ahead. I'm, I'm so excited to wrestle my. Like I was like, uh, me my and my girl son was like, wrestle all the time. My he, girl was like, his favorite thing to do. My girl was like, what do you want out of a dog? I was like, I want a big dog. I want to be able to wrestle him. And when my girl was like, what are you so excited about having a son for? I was like, I'm going to wrestle the fuck out of yep, him. Yep, I put him on top of the jaw and let him jump off. We do wrestling moves. The it most is, important thing in my life is to wrestle somebody. That is a very fun part. So everything I'm looking forward to is wrestling somebody. So I'm actually looking at wrestlers right now to get on the show. But don't want to give away too much. We got to get some extra Paul. He's, dude, he's so hard to reach. He's just on a pod recently and I seen some promotions of it. I was thinking about reaching out myself. If you can. I've been, there's no way, like his, there's no way to get I don't to think him. he's local no more though. I think he's in Cali. It might be. But we'll see. But anyway, this has been a blast. Thank you for coming here and coming on me, and let's come together. I don't, I don't expect to end it that way, but yeah, no doubt. <laughs> One love, y'all. Come and see me. Peace. That's what Robbie always says. If Robbie peace. doesn't say peace on the phone, there's something wrong. I don't like you. <laughs> <laughs> if he says bye on the phone, get scared because I'm nervous. Bye. <laughs> are, you, are you okay? What's wrong? <laughs>